if anybody still remembers or if anybody is still in the loop of the Puniverse or whatever, they just released a trailer for Piglet. I guess he's getting his own movie now, which is very weird because <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, both one and two terrible movies. So why they still are continuing to make more of these things, I have no idea, but I thought it'd be fun, you know, to come back with something a little silly, you know, to bring back the vibes of the channel. And we're gonna watch this trailer. Today is my sister's birthday actually, um, so go wish Dory a happy birthday. Her username is Dicky Dory on all social media, so go check her out. Go check out her stuff. She actually makes a bunch of really cool things. Like she, she's actually the one who made this really cool Lost Boys poster, uh, coaster poster, coaster poster. Hell yeah! She makes a lot of things like that. She makes mini magnetic ones as well. She also makes them in button form. They are really cool. So uh, I'm gonna put the link down to her Etsy shop down below, so y'all can go and check that out if you're into horror movies and bands and buttons and you know all that good stuff that she makes so for her birthday go ahead and go check out her shop and you know buy a few things they're not that expensive i'm sure you could spare some change for that also don't mind the garbage over there i had to put that tombstone there just because uh, you can see right here there's a lot of laundry there i haven't put it away so don't judge me anyway piglet trailer let's let's have a look at this thing let me uh put it at the best quality because i want to watch this thing in full hd all right let's go. beautiful can you believe it's been 10 years since we've been here hello we rented the cabins for the weekend. Hello there. Oh my God. Are you uh, the girl I spoke to earlier? It's her 21st birthday. Cheers. Cheers. Bad things happen to people who visit that camp. There was a rant of a man rejected by his family. It was affectionately called the Piglet. Piglet? Oh. What kind of name is that? I just thought I saw his comment. Look, he would be insane if he showed up. But he <clears> is <throat> insane. So I've got us some girls waiting the camp for the weekend. Look you choose bad. whichever you want. We'll right. put the rest in the yeah, freezer. We'll oh, just giving it all away. I love it. Whatever beast did this to him left him with some gnarly marks. Don't move closer. Hey, get away from her! We really have nothing to worry about. Nothing good ever happens. You hear it's not me, sir, the You big pig, you couldn't get me! You know, this looks like something that they would probably put out at the um, Halloween Horror Nights if they decided to make a movie. <laughs> so this is Piglet. So this is made by ITN Studios. Yeah, so for clarity, this project is not part of the public domain universe known as Pooniverse. I, although he has the same mask, um, which began with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, same idea, different team. Watch the official Piglet trailer below, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, 21st birthday. So, okay, so it's just a completely different movie about like a serial killer wearing a piglet mask, it seems. But it is not part of the Pooniverse, so why is this being made? But it's 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 awfully bad, uh, of course, as, as we just saw. I do kind of like the spin of it, and they're not trying to make this piglet a real pig or whatever, but it's still cheesy nonetheless. The acting is fucking god awful. The way it's shot, the cinematography could use a little bit of work. At least the quality looks decent. It's not, you know, whatever. I, I don't like that they gave so much away. This happens in many movies. Like we've seen many times before where the guy is super nice in the beginning and then slowly starts to become creepier and then turns out he's the killer or is involved with the killings. But they gave that away already because he obviously is the one controlling this guy or piglet or whatever. The Fuck. Yeah, so uh, this apparently is an Origins of Piglet, but it is not part of the Pooniverse. But again, same mask, it looks like. And so we got the poster here as well. Piglet, this pork will chop you up. Mm mm mm. <sighs> I thought this was gonna be a cooler trailer. Actually, you know, I'm, I was just gonna make this video solely just watching this Piglet trailer because I thought it'd be funny to come back with something stupid. But they they have come out with, I believe it's Peter Pan's trailer and then Bambi's The Reckoning trailer as well. So let's go ahead and see if we could find the trailers for those two. Bambi The Reckoning is being described as Cujo meets Jurassic Park. Oh, God damn it! I hope not. Let me see. Bambi The Reckoning trailer. So this was five months ago. I believe. Whoa. 
Whoa there, buddy. Let me put this to my high quality. I want to watch this in full HD. I think we've already seen this one. I think I saw maybe a teaser for it. You have a shot there. No. Well, that is a Are pigeon, you? my good man. That is not a deer. Yeah. Whoops. And you shouldn't have done it. Now you're fucked. I mean, that didn't look half bad, not gonna lie. <laughs> that looked pretty damn good. Like visually, it looked pretty good. Uh, I can't speak for the story. It didn't look like um, anything was really happening. Uh. Yeah, okay, so some comments are saying that they like how Bambi is an actual deer, which I completely get. See, okay, everybody's agreeing with it. So the CGI Bambi doesn't look crazy bad, and I um, I totally agree with that. It actually, if they were to stick with it this way, where it was CGI characters and put effort into that, I think that would be okay. And as far as that trailer went, it didn't look half bad. But like I said, the story, we gotta wait a little bit for that. And I thought there was another trailer. <laughs> I guess not, but now let's see. Peter Pan Neverland Nightmare. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're going. ITN Studios, man, coming out with heavy hitters already. Wakey, wakey. Peekaboo. How oh did you get God. down there? I'm Peter. It's nice to meet you. So I'm getting <laughs> Evil Dead meets It. When Timmy went missing, of course. what do you Jesus. remember? Oh. What the hell is that Close thing? To Neverland, and he must act now to take the children with him. It's time to so, collect. That's a Peter Pan. Oh, that was a very hey. terrible accident. I'm sorry, sorry about that. It is just the person. I'm Peter. Do you know what I have? Kind of sounds like he's trying to do a Heath Ledger Joker impression. <laughs> So if you need a hand. Oh. Uh, Peter hates questions. Stop asking him questions. Wow. He wants to come to Neverland with me. <laughs> Did he switch up the tone of voice on the ship? Okay, very Joker it's my inspired. It's duty to send the kids to Neverland and protect them from this world. In a place where you can be a little boring for the rest of your existence. Peter Pan's never let name here. Oh no. Marco. So I'm really getting a whole bunch of like I said, it's, it, it feels like he's trying to do some sort of <laughs> Joker impression for some reason. And it seems he has a different tone of voice when he has the mask on trying to play like this, you know, like really kid friendly trying to entrap them kind of like Pennywise, which like I said in the beginning of watching this trailer, that's kind of the vibe I was getting, especially with him coming out of the cellar like that. Um, who fucking knows about that? You know, let's go to the comments. See what, let's see what everybody's saying. Someone got the idea of mixing the Joker, the Crow, and Freddy Krueger in a single character. Uh, I mean, yeah. Stop eating my sesame cake. Captain Wanta? Want, want yeah, it's a true Peter Pan. He can fly, can giggle, and he can crow. Cool. Is no one gonna talk about the Pennywise reference? Exactly, man. In the ABC series from Disney, Once Upon a Time, Peter Pan was a villain. Also, at the end, it really makes sense that the original story is so much darker. 
than what people think. I mean, it kind of is if you actually know the story of Peter Pan. Not necessarily the cartoon, but of, you know, Peter Pan taking these kids to Neverland is essentially him taking them to heaven or whatever. So that way they can be kids forever and not have to worry about, you know, the problems of the world and all the worldly bullshit that happens. I actually, I could, I could dig it. Ooh, you know what else I just remembered? Sorry, this video is going to be super random and I'm just like trying to put as much stuff into this video as possible. I know we talked about it too with David Howard Thornton being Mickey. It was a steamboat willy. Steamboat. Screamboat, I forgot that's what it was called. <laughs> From the producers of Terrifier 2 and After the Mean 90 One, years, which the Mean One sucked. He's actually out in the public. Is he a little Steve cartoon? Steamboat Please show him. I want to see this thing. Oh my god. That's the happiest place on earth. A steamboat is? That's very odd. I mean, they didn't really show him or anything, but I'm not gonna say it didn't look half bad. It looked pretty fucking terrible. Um, in all of these movies and all of the Pooniverse type movies that we, we've been getting as of late, the acting is just completely terrible. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been sick. I went to the doctor to go get checked for COVID. It's not COVID. Thank Jesus. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, the acting in all of these, these, these movies are just terrible. And I don't, I don't know. I fuck with them because they're so stupid. And it's like these movies are kind of movies you would just put on to watch with your friends. And it's just that really. There, there's no really, there's no real substance to these movies. Aside from that Bambi one, the Bambi one could be promising. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah that was the trailers that i've been missing out on and you know I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm not necessarily excited but i am looking forward to watching them because this whole puniverse thing is completely ridiculous it is you know so far out of the realm of just being good movies but you know if you want to have a chill night with your friends you know buy a couple of 24 packs drink until you can't fucking think and flip on these movies and you know have a good time laughing at all the stupidity of them <coughs> Ugh, dude, my throat is so fucking dry, these damn allergies. So yeah, I think that was it. This video is really just me getting back into the motion of things and me just, you know, coming back with something. Um, it's been about like a month and two weeks, a month and a half, maybe a month and a week, something like that. I know it's been a little over a month. So I apologize for that real quickly. Again, I made a video, so go and check that out over there on my second channel. Yeah, after, after Deadpool and Wolverine that weekend, I kind of took the break because I didn't watch that movie the weekend of. So I wanted to avoid spoilers at all costs. So I went off of social media as well. But then that turned into a week of being off social media. Then two weeks being off social media. And then three weeks just being off of everything. Me not watching any of the trailers or anything like that. And I really just fell into like this deep depression because of that. It's really this that gets me out of that. And I know that's weird to say. But me reacting to these stupid trailers. And me just reacting to trailers and talking about movies in general that brings me back out of that because it gets my mind off of being in here so much and me talking to y'all and you know putting out this content and us just having a good old time watching this stuff it, it makes me happy and that's what brings me out of that slump that I was in I really didn't want to stay in there for too much longer so coming back with this hopefully it's something um I didn't have anything right now this is kind of just me just <laughs> talking off the dome you know as I as I say so yeah hopefully it was enjoyable hopefully y'all enjoyed it hope you enjoyed us going over these trailers and again apologies for being gone for so long but you know shit happens and i'm back and you know i want to push forward and just continue making more videos and talking about more movies and just yeah just having fun with y'all and with this channel and yeah but anyway that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed like share subscribe hit the bell so that way you get notified every time i post a video and yeah once again go check out my second channel if you're into all the random nonsense that i talk about <laughs> but yeah with that being said i'll see you in the next one later